and now we come to the addition and subtraction of complex numbers uh, it's uh, more like since we have four two forms to represent uh, complex numbers which is the polar and the rectangular it's more convenient or easier to do addition and subtraction in a rectangular form so if you are given in polar form it's much better to convert to rectangular form to do the addition and subtraction and how does the addition and subtraction works let's say for instance you are given two uh, complex numbers let's say z1 which is uh, 4 plus 2 and uh, z2 which is uh, 2 plus g4 then let's do the addition here first to add uh, z1 plus z2 what you do is that uh, let's say you write down everything g2 plus 2 plus g4 what you do is that like you group like terms so you take the real part of both complex numbers as a certain variable let's see this was 4x and this was 2x and this was uh, 2y and this was 4y so you take the x variable the ones with the x variables uh, first so let's say those are the real numbers and add them together so it's going to be 4 plus 2 which is 6 and you take the other ones with uh, the same variables which in this case is g and the, those ones you add them together and it's going to be g and it's 2 plus uh, what you call 4 and it's going to be 6 so as a result you have 6 plus g6 that's just about it so you add the real numbers together you get the real number part of it and you add the g parts and you get the g part which is the imaginary uh, part of it and then for subtraction you do it in the similar manner whereby you're going to have z2 it's going to, oh, this is z1 minus z2 it's going to be 4 plus 2g minus 2 plus 4g take note when you read this you read it as 2g not j2 as 2g so this is going to be 4 minus 2 plus uh, 2g minus 4g and this is going to give you 2 and positive 2g minus 4g it's going to be negative 2g and this about it with a subtraction then going further to other operations which is a multiplication and division Uh, with these two it's more convenient to to use the polar form to to do this operation operations uh, rather than the rectangular form but both can work so for multiplication let's see for instance we are given z1 equals to 5 plus 2g and z2 it's uh, 2 plus 6g for multiplication if we are to multiply the two we do the following
if we take like this as a a binomial with two terms so we first uh, multiply the first term with the first term of the other binomial then with the second term and like that like that the very same way we do when we expand equations so it's going to be 5 times 2 which is 10 5 times 2 which is going to 5 times 6 uh, g which is going to be 30 g and 2 g times 2 which is going to be 4 uh, g and then 2 g times 6 g which is going to be g squared 2 times 6 is going to be 12 and then before grouping like terms you would realize that we have got the g squared which is actually a negative one so we'll first write this out as 10 plus and we add this like terms it's going to be plus 34g minus 12 yeah, it's minus 12 because this it's actually negative 1 and then grouping further grouping like terms it's going to be negative 2 plus 34 G this is when we are doing it in rectangular form and then doing this in polar form we'll have to first convert this to to polar uh, form so this is what we'll do it's going to be z1 equals to 5 plus g2 and then to convert this to polar form we have to get uh, the r and the angle so it's going to be r equals to 5 squared plus 2 squared this gives us 25 plus 4 is 29 square root of 29 our r and our angle it's going to be tan inverse of 2 over 5 which gives us 21.8 degrees so z1 equals to square root of 29 21.8 degrees like this and then z2 is 2 plus 6g so r is going to be 2 squared plus 6 squared and this is going to give us this 4 squared plus 36 squared so it's square root of 40 and our theta is tan inverse of 6 over 2 this is like an inverse of 3 so our theta is going to be 71.565 degrees so z2 equals to square root of 40 71.565 degrees so doing this and polar form this how we do it z1 times z2 it becomes a square root of 29 so what happens is that like uh, you first multiply the coefficients so it's going to be square root of 29 times square root of 40 and when multiplying with the angles you add them you add the two angles so it's going to be 21.8 degrees plus 71.565 degrees and your answer is going to be around if you round this off it's going to be 34 Point zero five, and your angle is going to be ninety three point three six five degrees. So remember, with multiplication, you multiply the two 
uh, coefficients and add the angles so we multiply the coefficients and add the angles and then with a uh, division uh, using rectangular form first I'll just take them right from here so it's going to be z1 divided by z2 of which we can write as z1 over z2 z1 over z2 becomes uh, 5 plus 2j over 2 plus uh, 6j so to divide this to what you do is that like you multiply with the conjugate on top even below as if like you are rationalizing if you remember how you rationalize uh, an expression so the conjugate of this one it's just like changing this and a uh, sign to negative if it's negative you change it to positive so it's going to be 2 minus 6j and then here it's going to be 2 minus 6j as well and then you just multiply through and if you do that you're going to end up with 10 minus 30 j 10 minus 30 g then we've got a negative g to negative g squared 12 and then underneath you're going to have since you have different of two squares so you're going to end up with 2 minus g squared 36 and then if you remove these g's you're going to end up with positive 12 so it's going to be 22 minus 30 g all over there's going to be positive so it's going to be 34 that's just 22 over 34 minus g 30 over 34 and then doing this using the polar form it's just going to be z1 over z2 i'll just take it from here it's going to be 29 that and 40 and that so with division when you're using polar form what you do is that like you divide the coefficients and subtract the angle so it's going to be a square root of 29 over square root of 40 21.8 minus 71.565 and if you punch this into the calculator it's going to be something like square root of 29 square root of 40 0 0.8514 then 21 minus 71 21.8 minus 71.565 it's a negative 49.765 and that's it with the the division part of it so this is how uh, you you do the the, the uh, multiplication and this is how we do the division thanks for watching magnanimous minds lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos also following us on our uh, social media platforms facebook we are magnanimous minds instagram we are magnanimous underscore minds and twitter we are at magnanimous mean one. Thank you.